guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so for the last week i have been extremely unproductive we've just got settled in a new place and we don't really have a routine yet i'm starting my new job at the end of the month so currently i have no like responsibilities no obligations and nothing like that i've been spending way too much time on my phone yesterday honestly i think i lay in bed and just watched tiktok for two hours and that is extremely unproductive and i'm just not getting through any of the reading i wanted to do Hence why I've been in this video. I originally saw Sarah Crowley do this and I think it was one of her subscribers that gave her the idea. But basically for every time that I picked up my phone last week, we're going to be reading a page this week. And as I said, I spent so much time on my phone last week, I kind of thought it was the perfect timing to do this video. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into my settings and see how many times I picked up my phone last Monday. As you can see, last Monday I picked up my phone 97 times. That's a lot for me. Put it in context, my average was 83 last week. So today I'm going to be reading 97 pages. I'm currently reading Crown of Midnight. I started off the series with Assassin's Blade. I'd seen a few people on YouTube read it that way and I kind of just went along with it. So far I'm quite happy that I chose that reading order because it means whenever, for example, Sam's mentioned, I know who he is and I know a little bit more about what's going on when she mentions little snippets from her past. But as you saw, I started on page 8 this morning, so I've got 97 pages to read today, which means I need to get to page 105. Let me just do the math. Yeah, I need to read 105 pages today. It got to page 43 this morning, so I need to read another 62 pages this afternoon. I don't really have much planned for the day, so I think I'm just going to grab some lunch and then get to reading. It's now Tuesday. It's actually nearly four o'clock. As you saw, I got to my reading goal yesterday. So I was meant to read 97 pages and I actually read a bit more than that just because I was at a really good point in the book and I didn't really want to put it down. Um, yeah, to page. Oh, I get so distracted. Yeah, so I got to page 114 last night of this. So I read an extra six pages. I think my maths is correct. And then today, as you maybe be able to see here if i put up a screen recording i'm supposed to read 66 pages today and i'm currently on page 147 so see as i don't have a calculator this is where all my bad maths is going to come in um as a on 114 plus 66 pages today so i need to get to 170 no page 180 and i'm currently on 146 so that means i have 34 pages left to go okay nice i'm all over the place but at least i know my maths as you can see i'm kind of tabbing it as i go along i put these colors going on so i've just been marking off pages where either i've been like theorizing things uh where where points in the story have kind of popped up and i've been like oh that could maybe mean something i'm marking down quotes i like important quotes quotes which i think are then kind of foreshadowing i've also marked a couple of things that i just like in general 
as I read Assassin's Blade first, there's a few things from that which keep popping up, which I like. So I've been marking those off. I've been marking down where there's like multiverse crossover. I'm reading this series as the like the last series. I've read both Akatar and Crescent City already. Love them both. I'm just a sucker for anything written by her at this point. There hasn't been anything in this book so far that I think correlates to the other two series. But in the first books, there's a few things which I think do. They may be far-fetched theories, maybe. <laughs> but I'm going to go into a huge deep dive of sh once I've read the series as to everybody's theories and crossovers before Crescent City 3 comes out. And the last thing, which as you can see, is the light blue, which I've got a lot of. It's just important points in the story. Things that again, I think are foreshadowing or will then play a major part in the rest of the story. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm reading this one much faster than I read Throne of Glass. I think definitely because I'm doing the pickups to pages kind of thing. It's really holding me accountable to actually getting reading done, which is good. So it means I read like a hundred odd pages yesterday and I'll read nearly a hundred again today. And then yeah, hopefully towards the end of the week I can get on to, I think it's Air of Fire next, maybe. I just got back from a walk. Uh, I've got the gym later. I need to make some dinner. But other than that, I'm going to read for the rest of the day. I will catch up with you guys probably tomorrow, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a late night getting home tonight. I won't be back from the gym till like 10 or so because Sam has football practice. And yeah, I can't really be bothered to get the camera out in the evenings. So if I don't speak to you this afternoon, I will catch up with you guys tomorrow morning. Um, I know I said I'd get back later, once I read a bit more, but I just got mail and I want to show you. How beautiful is this? Like, I've been wanting to order a physical copy for so long now, because it's one of my favourite books, but I just don't like the like standard covers which are out there. I really wanted the yellow one, but obviously it's out of stock everywhere, or unless you're paying maybe $40, $50 or pounds even on ebay which is just insane so when i saw that this was on amazon i had to get it and how beautiful okay anyway i'm gonna get back to the rest of my day before you before you there was no plan i stumbled through the waking hours before As you saw, I got to page 180 yesterday, so I completed my, I think it was 66 pages I had to read. I carried on reading, and I got to page 193 last night. And then, as you'll be able to see here, I then need to read 88 pages today, I believe. Let me double check. No, I have to read 87 pages today. So, 193, got to get to page 87, so that is page 280 I have to get to. I read quite a bit this morning. It was really good, quite annoying. There were some very frustrating things that happened, 
but I am currently on page 257 so I have another 23 pages to go for today. I am really enjoying this book. As you can see from some of the tabs, I have thought of a number of theories and I'm very excited to see if I'm right, if they come to a conclusion in this book or if it will be one of the other books. But as always, I love her writing. It's a good book. Not getting the five star feeling yet. I remember how I felt reading Akatar, bearing in mind that was like my first fantasy series. So I was completely in depth and I was unwell at the time. So I was in bed for a week straight basically. And I just spent all day, every day just reading through the books and got through them all so fast. I'm not getting the same feeling as I did with those. Not yet anyway. I don't know if that's because I've read a lot more fantasy since and because I'm reading them at a much slower rate so I'm not as engrossed in the story as I was with those. At the moment I'm thinking it's definitely four stars, probably four and a half. I think I gave Throne of Glass four and a half and four on Goodreads but I'm pretty confident the rating is going to go up because there's a lot of stuff that needs to be concluded before the end of this book. I'm going to edit a bit of this video so far, see where I'm at, and I will catch up with you all later. precariously placed right now <clears throat> as you can see it's horrible outside it's really super rainy and gross which is why I look a little bit of a mess but anyway it's now Thursday I am like flying through this book yesterday I was supposed to get to page 280 which I did as you saw uh, and then I carried on reading and I got to page 90 last night. I set it off from page 90 this morning and I read for, I want to say like two hours. Like it's, as it's been horrible, I haven't really done much today other than reading. So I'm currently on page 48, nope, chapter 48 and page, can you even see this? I'm currently on page 365. So today I was supposed to read, I will stick it here, um, I was supposed to read 77 pages, but so I started on 290, was meant to read 77 pages today, so I should have got to 367, and that is literally two, three pages away from where I am now, and as I'm so close to the end, I'm just going to finish it I think today because I'm really enjoying it, there's a lot going on, and it's raining so I have no other priorities. And no other commitments today. I'm in the car now because I'm about to head into town and go to the bookstore, the local one to me here, uh, and get Air of Fire, which is the third slash fourth book for me, which I'm very excited about. This one's, I think it's near 600 pages long though. This book is only, I don't want to look at the end, this book is only like 420 pages, so the next one's going to take me a lot longer to read. This book has taken me about four days. The bookshop is shut over the weekend, but as it's Thursday today, and this one's gonna take me a lot longer to read than uh, Crown of Midnight did, I think I'm fine with just getting Air of Fire. The bookstore that I go to now, they also have, I wanna say, is it Queen of Shadows that's the next one after Air of Fire? They have that one in store. And then the final books after that, I have to order in each time and each one takes about five days. So I think I should be fine ordering them as I pick up each one. I know that's annoying for the shop, but it kind of feels like a bit of a reward every time I get to go in and pick up the new book once I finish this one. I know I'm doing this one a bit prematurely, but that is because it's currently like 3, 3.30 and the shop shuts at five and I've got a couple other errands I want to run and just explore some of the little boutiques as this is a new town for me. And I'm rambling. Gonna finish this today, going to get the next one. That was the gist of it all. And I will see you all later.
Okay. I'm in public, so a little awkward, but we have a haul of things to go through. First of all, a secured air fire. This is thick, man. Like, this is going to take a while to get through. This book is 565 pages. That's nearly 200 more than all the other ones have been. Um, but I also ended up grabbing a couple other bits, which I will also show you. Next, I got this. Like, I didn't need any yarn. I have no idea what I'm going to make with this. But look how beautiful this is. It's like shimmery and it's so soft and it's a blend of baby alpaca and merino wool and it is just beautiful. It looks like mermaid scales. So, I don't know, I'm thinking like a top. I think the colour kind of suits me. We'll see. You got a little sticker. I just thought it was adorable. And I'm planning on getting a laptop at some point and I've kind of been collecting stickers over our travels. Like I grabbed a bunch whilst we were on our road trip. Um, and I think I'm just going to stick them in the case. Ooh, the car next to me is moving. Maybe they saw me filming. Who knows? And then, I got some earrings. I got these ones. I'm actually going to put it in now. I've been meaning to grab some hoops. Just because the only ones I wear at the moment are these. And um, as you can see, they need to be cleaned. So I grabbed these. Which I think are pretty cute. And then next... Because I was there, I was kind of just, why not get some sets? I got these ones. And they're to replace these little feathers I have in my ears at the moment. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to put these on at home, just because I don't know if I can, um... No, I can put these on there. Also, 90% of this is going to get cut out. I don't know why I'm not more embarrassed about filming in public. I think maybe because I don't know anyone. It helps. Okay, and then finally, I got these teeny tiny ones. Um, I could only get one side in, but there they are. They're super cute, and I love them. Um, anyway, it's getting dark now. Someone's just pulled up next to me. I'm uncomfortable, so I'm going to drive home and finish my book. And probably edit more of this video. Okay, I'll see you later. yesterday like I originally thought I would. I got distracted by doing some other things, some work and stuff like that, so I ended up finishing it off this morning. Last night I ended up reading to chapter 52 and page 391, so that's where I started off this morning and then I read for a bit and finished it off like an hour or two ago maybe. So I reached my goal pages yesterday, which I think yesterday I had to get to 367 and then so I got to 391 so like 23 pages extra yesterday and then I read from 391 this morning to I believe it was 418 it finished on. So I have read 29 pages so far this morning and my goal for the day is so last Friday I was looking here picked up my phone 94 times so I'm supposed to read 94 pages today and I have already read 29, so I have 65 pages left to read today. And I'm about to start this one. I'm very excited to start this. This ended on such a cliffhanger. I really enjoyed this. I ended up giving it 4.75, so I rounded it up to 5 on Goodreads. I did not see the ending coming at all. There's like, if you've read these, you know there's a huge twist on the last page, even last sentence. And I didn't guess it at all. I guessed it two pages before it happened, so I can't give myself much credit for that. I'm about to start this one. I think I will read a little bit now, just before lunch, and then try and tackle some more of it later. As I said, I've got to get to page 65 today. I'm going to choose my tabs, and then read a couple pages now, and then I'll crack on with more of it later.
yesterday. Honestly, I don't know what I was doing. And now I got distracted with crochet, that's what I was doing. I've been making coasters and I decided to make a little bandana for the dog we're living with. So that's why I didn't reach my goal. I only got to page 45, as you saw before. Yeah, I got to page 45. So that means I was 20 pages short, so I have to add 20 pages onto today's total, which is... Okay, I'll stick it here. Uh, last Saturday, I read 77 pages, and then with the 20 pages I was short yesterday, that means I've got to read 97 pages today, and I am on page 45, so I have to get to... 152 142 okay i was close so that's just under 100 pages that's quite a lot i'm gonna chill i'm gonna read for a little bit now and then probably crack on with it later on <laughs> goal again yesterday I was I don't even know what happened I kind of just got in a bit of a slump in the afternoon so I just did not feel like picking up my book at all I just kind of wanted to wallow with tv as I'm filming on my phone I had to write down all the figures just because I was struggling so much to remember where I was at and what numbers and the maths and things like that so yesterday was Saturday and on Saturday last week, I picked up my phone 77 times, which meant I was supposed to reach page 142 yesterday. And I only got to page 73, as you saw, which means I was down on my goal by 69 pages. That means I then need to add those 69 pages to today's total. So last Sunday, I picked up my phone 106 times. I'll probably stick it here. Plus the 69 pages left over from yesterday, I have to read a total of 175 pages today which in total means i need to get to page 248 i spent a few hours this morning just sitting on the couch and reading so i actually got to chapter 19 and page 145 so i've still got another 103 pages that i have to read today i'm actually on my way to the shop now i just need to grab a few bits because i'm planning on doing some baking when i get home and then i can sit Eat some nice hot banana bread, read my book, have a cup of coffee, and it's raining. Like, what else am I supposed to do today? So, I forgot to end the video, as I usually do. It is now December. Um, we're about a week away from Christmas. Today is the 15th, so we're like 10 days away. Um, yeah, I completely forgot to finish the video. I started my new job, so I got completely just wrapped up in that and just haven't had time to film. We are in the car again today because we have another dog staying with us in the house at the moment. So there's just not really a chance to film an outro in there. And I just want to get it finished so I can then finish editing it and uploading it. So as you saw, I did hit my 248 pages on that last day. I read these two books. Um can't remember 100% what goes on in these I remember the big plot twist in this one shook me this one I gave this one five stars in the end yeah I loved this book actually I think some people say it's not their favorite because of kind of like the bit of a tangent it goes on I guess but I genuinely really enjoyed it the characters in this book I loved I liked all my tabs in this book I got them all the right color I had a lot of fun reading Air of Fire so if you haven't read the series, I highly recommend getting into it. Um, I'm not going to speak too much about them as they are in the middle of a series. And also, as I said, I've kind of forgotten what specifically went on in these. As I have read Queen of Shadows since then and part of Empire of Storm and also Tower of Dawn. So I don't want to accidentally ruin anything. In total in this video, 
My goal was to read 606 pages. And I believe, if my calculations are correct overall, I read 664 pages, I think. So that's pretty good going. Like, that is a good reading week for me. I think maybe the last week I've read 400 pages. So that was a good week for me. And I should definitely do this video again because it really forces me to get through some books. I'm going to wrap it up here. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. As you can probably tell from looking at my channel, I'm kind of trying out a few different video styles at the moment, kind of seeing what I'm interested in, seeing what video style really gets me excited to create, gets my creative juices flowing. I've really enjoyed filming this video actually. It's a different format to my previous videos, but I really enjoyed doing it. So please let me know if you enjoyed. Let me know if you'd like to see more. I would definitely enjoy doing more reading content for sure. I've got a number of really good books lined up on my TBR. So let me know if you want to see some more reading vlogs, that kind of thing. Or yeah, I'm now going to go. Thank you again for watching and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I hopefully will see you soon. Bye guys.